Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakewithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And this week I'm gonna show you how I get butter into my brioche dough. Let's do it. Hello there dear viewer, at this point in the video you may have noticed that the Baby Jack theme tune is missing and that's because the app I use to film and edit my videos on my telephone has lost all the music and replaced it with other interesting music just like this one. So this one will serve as a placeholder until I get my act together and film a new intro and outro. I hope this doesn't disturb your viewing pleasure too much. Please continue. Hey you guys and welcome back to the Bakery Jack YouTube channel where I share with you a little bit of my bread making expertise every single Thursday. If you're new here and this video is your cup of tea, consider clicking subscribe before you go. Well, I've been making a lot of brioche burger buns recently as part of my new summertime barbecue bread making course. And as always, I work everything by hand, but there comes a question which is how do we get the butter in there. Brioche, being the ultimate, the king of all enriched doughs, takes on a ton of butter. So it's a good idea to work your dough first and then introduce the butter afterwards. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Cut to the table. Okay, here we are at the table. I've just mixed up my dough. That's why it looks a little bit rough. And ready, I'm gonna put 150 grams of butter into this brioche dough, which is half a kilo of flour. Okay, this is for burger buns. You can get loads more butter in there if you want to, if you're making sweet chocolate brioche rolls, for example. But 150 grams for half a kilo of flour, and this one is plenty. I've divided up my butter into three 50 gram pieces. One, two, three. These three pieces are what we're gonna use. Now, because a brioche dough is enriched with eggs and a little bit of sugar, actually, just in this one, it makes it super sticky. I don't know if you ever made pasta before, but the pasta dough is really sticky at the beginning. It literally sticks to everything. So what I like to do at this point is just start off, after I've mixed my dough, by putting in a little bit of butter. This just helps the dough to become silky while I uh, knead it, and it will stop it sticking to my table too much. So I'm just going to give that a little mix in there, just a little bit, that first bit of butter, and then I'm going to get the dough out onto the table for the first part of the kneading, okay? I'm going to knead it initially for about four to five minutes. That's all we need, four to five, not four T five. That's way too long. Four to five minutes before I start adding the butter. And the reason I do that is because we don't really need to take it any further. It's gonna be needed for a long time in the end by the time we put the butter in. It's not really necessary to do it for much longer than that right now. So I'm gonna knead it exactly the same as I normally do, pushing it across the table with a heel in my hand, and it should come together nicely. Every once in a while, I'm gonna use my scraper just to scrape bits and bobs back together if they get stuck onto the table like that. And continue going. No flour down at the table at this point. We don't need any flour, shouldn't need anything at all. There we go, our dough's showing nice signs of being worked nicely, those signs we're looking for, like the elasticity, the smoothness is arriving. But now it's time to put the butter in. After that short work, it's time to put the butter in. I always do this in the bowl, just keeps it a little bit mess free. I'm gonna start with this little piece of butter. We'll get that in first. We're gonna do this in stages, in three stages, okay? A little bit goes in like this. All I'm gonna do is push it in with my fingers, dimple it in the dough like this. Then I'm gonna start folding it in on itself. I'm almost gonna do that same kneading action, except I'm gonna do it into the bowl like this. Fold it in on itself like this. Now the butter is in there. The butter's in the dough, but it's not fully incorporated throughout the dough. It's in there somewhere. It's in a little parcel. You can probably feel it in there, a little slippery parcel inside, okay? But now I'm gonna keep pushing like this, and at some point it's gonna pop out. It will pop out the underside make everything real slippery and buttery. Here it goes. You see what I mean? It's just starting to pop out here in layers, okay? What I'm gonna do is continue kneading this. It will feel like it never wants to go in. It will feel like that butter just wants to stay put on the outside of the dough. But after a while, you keep working it and keep working it, the dough will take on that butter nicely and it will become part of the dough, okay? It'll become a buttery, nice uh, and silky and supple dough. 
Now every once in a while your dough's gonna start getting messy like this. There's butter everywhere, there's bits of dough sticking all over the place. Just take the curved side of your scraper and just bring it all back inside like this. Every once in a while, make sure we don't lose anything on the outside of the bowl. Scrape it all down. And then continue on. Now I'm happy that butter's going in now. I can't see any lumps, any bumps, right? So I'm gonna go with the second piece, exactly the same way. Second bit goes in. Spread it over. And then dimple it in with your fingertips. Just to get it started off. Probably a good idea, do that bit with one hand. Because look at me now, never mind. Now I'm gonna start folding it in. Folding and pushing. Exactly the same as before, you see. You can't see the butter now, but it's in there in a little piece. It's not incorporated, but it's still in there a little piece. I can feel a big chunk there. And it's gonna get messy. It's gonna all pop out and get messy. This is this bit is a bit like when you're making shoe pastry and you start adding the eggs. It never looks like the pastry, the shoe pastry mixture is gonna take on those eggs, but all of a sudden it just becomes part of the dough. Every time we add butter, this dough gets silkier, smoother and softer. Really lovely. Okay, scrape down the bowl and we go with the final piece. Here we go. Exactly the same as before, just make a bit more surface area on top. Put the butter on there. Push in with your fingertips. Now we're talking, it smells amazing. I know this sounds probably not particularly present for you guys, but Smells amazing. I fold all the butter in. And then keep working. Right, here we are, all the butter's in there now. But it's not completely incorporated, it's not completely silky. So what I'm gonna do is take my scraper now and scrape my fingers off, any dough, any mess on my fingers. Let's try and keep this as clean as possible. Add that back then to the dough bowl. And I'm gonna scrape the sides down like this. Now that we're here, at this stage, everything's got everything's real soft now, it's really soft and lovely. And so what I like to do now, is instead of pushing it into the middle of the bowl, is do it like a bit, a bit like the wet dough video I did a while ago, is just get my hand underneath and give it a little work like this, right? Turning the bowl every once in a while. And now we're getting that smoothness back. Just a bit more of a gentle way of working it. Now everything's in there. Just making sure everything's come together nicely and the butter's fully incorporated. Same as before, scrape down every once in a while. And that dough will take on all that butter. Just gonna swap hands now because one that's actually getting tired is the one holding the bowl. So we swap over. Just lifting up, bring it back into the bowl. Lifting underneath, stretching it out, put it back into the bowl. I'm actually quite happy with this now. When the dough comes together and it's no longer that sort of cake mixture sticky mess, uh, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that sit now for three minutes and then I'm gonna take it out of the bowl and see where we're at. Three minutes later, our dough's rested up enough for us to see what's going on, really. Now we can have a little bit of flour on the table, just a little bit, a bit on the top of our dough, just to be sure. Ease it out of the bowl onto the table, upside down. The last bit's on there like that. Get rid of that. And now we can fold it up into a nice smooth ball. This is really lovely, silky, wonderful. Delicately working our way around. Nice smooth ball. There we go, now we're talking. 
Yes, look at that. Lovely, beautifully smooth, silky, wonderful, and it smells incredibly buttery. Put that in there like that. Bit of flour on the top and the cloth and let it rest. And that's how I add butter to a brioche by hand. That process, after that initial four or five minutes kneading, probably took about another six or seven minutes on the end just to get all that butter introduced. And then a three minutes rest, and then it's ready to ball up into that beautiful soft dough, taking on all that buttery deliciousness. I always do this stuff by hand, and that's probably another subject for another time, because we might as well, and it's fun. It probably looked like I was being more forceful than I actually was, especially towards the end, because everything gets much softer, much easier to fold, it's much more forgiving that end of the process. As always, I hope this video has helped you out. I hope it's provided you with a little bit of something interesting to help you make amazing bread at home. If it has, please click that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe. I look forward to seeing you here next week for another bread making tip. Bye bye. Well, there you have it. That's how to get butter into your brioche with a brand new temporary theme tune. Actually, I quite like this one. If you've got any advice for me, any help, anything that I can use that's easy for a geezer who just deals with flour and water to make a nice new introduction, please pop it on the comments box. My ears are open. Thank you so much. See ya.